Hey everybody, welcome to the Instant Classic. A um, few things I wanted to cover. I wanted to cover sports. Because I believe sports are very important. Actually, I'm just bullshit. And, you know, I don't know anything about sports unless you ask me about wrestling. Lately, wrestling has actually been somewhat exciting. I know this is probably a really boring scene right now for all you people out there. So let's move on to something better. Um, for once, actually right now, currently, there is no episodes of the Jersey Shore on TV. Thank you, God. If I seen one more episode of the Jersey Shore, I, I don't know what I would have done. Maybe quit being Italian, just just tell people I'm no longer that. Um, let's see here, G-Man, just on DVD now. Finally, it's out. Uh, I've been asked to no longer do another G-Man or anything like that because of uh, the language. As you all know, it is rated R for strong language, sexual content, violence, drug and alcohol use. Yeah, it's just... Uh, but you never know, maybe. Maybe there'll be a T-Man. Ooh. Well, anyways... Hey, welcome back. Um, recently I was asked to cut my beautiful long hair and uh, I didn't quite give them a reason why I just said no um, I'd like to right now verify why I will not cut my hair or shave my beard is because I do plan to shoot Jesus the wait, frog in Jesus's pocket we'll edit around it will make it sound good the frog in Jesus's pocket. I plan to film that as of course I do plan to play Jesus or as to the Mexicans Jesus. Um, by the way it is a parody in no way or shape or form am I really trying to be Jesus Christ or saying that this really happened for all we know it could have. He could have had a frog in his pocket but it is just a comedy movie. It is nothing to be serious. It may not even be a whole movie just a couple of scenes of Jesus walking around with the, you know, frog in his pocket, you know, spitting in mud, putting in people's faces, dying on the cross. Oh, goodbye. No, anyways, that is why I will refuse to do it. I got asked, uh, I, I know my hair's crazy right now. I, I look like, you know, the doc from freaking Back to the Future. Hey, come, stay tuned in, folks. We'll be right back. Ah, uh, you know, it's got to be nice having a, uh, a talk show host that uh, basically is only on the web and just smoking a cigarette. So all my smokers out there, you have somebody you can look to. I enjoy the show, of course. Um, you know, I want to get some celebrity guests on here, as well as some random guests. Maybe a person with uh, dead leg syndrome, you know, a little troublemaker in a wheelchair who likes to roll around. Um, possibly somebody with Down syndrome, autism. Of course, I'm not making fun of any of those. I want to give them the chance to give me an interview that I will laugh my ass off later, and possibly my viewers at home smoking weed. Anyways, um, I come from, I'm broadcasting in Madison, Michigan, which is a tiny little fucking state. Anyone from Michigan will point to their hand and go, right here, right here, right here. It's not a fucking hand. If it was a hand, we would all have hands that look like this. But we don't, unless you're a gang and you like to go, I don't even know what I'm doing. I need a broadcast host, that's what I need. We need to do weather, we need to do all of it. Well, we don't have that because I don't have the money to pay for it.
I know last time I talked about Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, well, you know what? Kind of an idol of mine. Any man who can do as many drugs as he is, talk about it on the media and everything, and not have been arrested for it recently, you get the two thumbs up of the day award from me, Tyler Krocek, your host. Um, I don't know, let's just go, we'll go to a commercial break or we'll put